And uh, we've got some bubbles up here, some nitrogen bubbles. I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, you can definitely see there's a lot of algae growing on this live rock here. And the tank is looking great. Maybe in a, another two or three reef we'll have some fish in here. The flow is doing great. The pump is quieted down a lot. The marine land pump we put in there is doing great. And the sand is nice and deep. And the kessel is performing well. So here we go. So here's a look at the nitrogen bubbles I was talking about. As you can see, we've got quite a few of them on this rock. And they're all over the tank. And the algae is also growing right over the glue on the tank, which is uh, the glue that we use to glue the rocks together. So I'm really happy that it's growing right over that. Um, couldn't hope for any better results. Here's the live rock. As you can see, we've got all sorts of stuff growing on it. And if you notice, we've actually got little zinnias growing from where we cut the uh, old zinnias off the rock. There's actually new zinnias growing on it already, which is pretty amazing that zinnias can even survive in this tank cycling process. I'm really impressed with that. Um, but the tank is just looking great. I cannot believe there's zinnias in here already, though. But anyways... Anyways guys, that's this tank update. There's pretty much nothing more going on in this tank. I want to take you guys over to the 10 gallon and show you that real quick. So here we've got the 10 gallon guys. As you can see Nemo's doing great. The bubble coral has grown immensely. He is huge. I cannot believe how big the bubble coral is. I can't believe how big the anemone is, and we've got zinnias growing in the bottom right corner now, on the top right glass, on that rock in the back. I cut a lot of them off of there, and all over the left side. And as you can see, the leather coral is doing great. So is the Cladelia leather coral. They're both doing awesome. We've got some mushrooms growing. The snails are doing great. We lost the red hermit crab. That really sucks. But the blue hermit crab is now in his shell and living happily. The snails are all doing great, and the uh, shrimp is doing awesome. Nemo's doing great, he's eaten everything, uh, there's no other tank inhabitants with him. The Devil's Hand Coral is just behind Nemo where he is right now, it's doing really good, I'll give you a close up of that, and the green leather is just growing like crazy. So here's a view of the Devil's Hand guys, as you can tell it's looking pretty good. It just went through a shedding process, and I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Right now it's wedged over here, so it's kind of away from everyone, so it can just go through its shedding process, get the flow it needs, and then recover. As you can tell, it's pretty happy in the light, and everything else is doing pretty good in the tank. Here's the toadstool leather from the side, guys. Doing really great. I love this guy. His colors are really good. He's really green, really fully extended, and just super happy as can be. The bubble coral, as I mentioned earlier, is really happy as well. He's doing super good. He's grown a lot, and Nemo hasn't been hosting to him, so it's given him a huge opportunity to grow. The anemone has done awesome in this tank. He's a little translucent still. It hasn't gained as much color as I would like, but he's definitely happy. He's getting a lot of light from this light that's on the tank, and he's just growing a whole lot. He's nice and green on the tips, and he's doing a lot better than he was at Petco. So I'm really happy with him as a new addition in this tank. I'm really happy with his overall growth. Now as you can see, here's some Xenia frags I had that I fragged up and they've just been laying down here in the bottom right corner and they're growing like crazy and they're doing so good. So hopefully I'll put some of these in the new tank and we'll start off our first couple corals. Here's the, the toad sole leather from the front. He's doing really well and I'm really impressed with him. Really happy with his overall growth. He's about the size of a baseball now, and I'm really happy with where he's come from, being the size of a quarter when I bought him. The Claudelia leather is doing great. It's super large. The stalk is massive, and he's just super happy. It's growing like a weed, and I just couldn't expect more from it. Here's the green leather I was talking about. As it's Looks pretty amazing, just got one tentacle down there right by the Clodilia that's being a little tampered with, so it's a little closed up. But it's really happy, and I'm really satisfied with this coral's growth as it started in this tank. It's just a little tiny stick, if you guys look at the first video. But overall, it's been doing great. We've got some more zinnias just growing on the glass here, doing pretty good. Pretty impressed with the zinnias, and uh, couldn't expect more from them.
Here's some of the Zoas in the tank. There's just a couple of them on this frag plug, but they're starting to come back, which is really nice to see. I've always had a hard time keeping Zoas in this tank for some reason, and it's nice to see them coming back and surviving. I've actually had these Zoas since uh, when I started the tank, and they've been doing pretty good. The red Zoas are also still in the tank. They're on the bottom left, and they're really not happy. Not too sure what to do about that. We do have some Xenia growing all over the tank. As you can see by that hermit crab, there's Xenias growing there. And they've just been growing throughout all the rock crevices in the tank, which isn't bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Anyways, that's a whole tank update, guys. That's pretty